things come uh, as a surprise, it's the script and how do you uh, how do you react to it when you read it? And I read this from cover to cover, and it was very nerve jangling, spine tingling uh, action thriller. But uh, more than that, it carried a sort of emotional charge that I was surprised by. You really care about Jack Ryan. He's a very particular kind of character in this genre of film. And uh, so it was the combination of his distinctive qualities and the fact that the, the story, I thought, was extremely gripping. I enjoyed his um, paradox. He's a, the best and the brightest, a brilliant analytical mind, um, but a sort of reluctant CIA man. And in this origin story, you get the chance to see how someone who originally had joined the Marines, had been um, it sort of invalided out with a, a terrible helicopter crash and subsequent uh, very, very serious back injury, uh, quite where they go and what they do with their life and whether they can find in, in, in themselves and for themselves another way to serve. And, um, and Jack Ryan does that and this story allows us to see how that happens with a Jack who's quite vulnerable and uh, contains those sort of um, regular guy qualities that make him very empathetic to us, I think. Um, he, is, is, has, he has a kind of decency which, which plays strongly and, and compellingly. He's not, uh, he's not, I think, in this version, as, as some people might regard him as an sort of ultra-conservative um, uh, uh, hawk, if you like. He's a teacher of history and a very, very sophisticated uh, analyst of, of world events, and so, the chance to see a complex human being who is not a professional assassin, he's not come out of some kind of program, he's not uh, having access to extremely sort of wacky, futuristic, uh, high tech, uh, but he's in the real world um, making a contribution in a sometimes covert world as close as this picture allows uh, to, uh, as it were, you and I, this, this kind of picture. So he's our representative. The, the not ordinary is too, is the wrong word for Jack Ryan, but the, that regular and familiar human quality, I think, uh, makes, us, makes us feel this very uh, personal connection with him. Chris Pine brings to it, you know, a very, very handsome, sexy lad, who's a real thinking actor as well. And you do need, if Jack's an analyst, you need to be interested in watching him as he looks at something and analyzes it. And we have that quality with Chris. Um, and he's someone who, moment to moment in a scene, uh, is, is very uh, questioning in a positive way about what's real and truthful and accurate. In this origin story, it was important that, you know, we understood how uh, potentially being in the CIA involved Jack's friends and family in being sometimes uncomfortably or dangerously integral to the job that he does. Um, the pressure to share or not share, and the reaction of people who've been, they might think, betrayed or lied to, uh, becomes a very interesting dynamic. It's a pressure, a human pressure back on Jack. So playing opposite him, Kira Knightley brings uh, intelligence, she brings effortless beauty, she brings a real sense of the professionalism of, of Kathy as an equal. She's a professional eye doctor, as she puts it, great surgeon. and. Um, she was very good, Kira, at going back to find from the Jack, from the Tom Clancy law, uh, everything that could be useful to making um, Kathy as, as full a figure as possible. I had a little support system there, which I'd used previously, and uh, and it was nice to do it this time. So I felt that if with that in place, it would actually be wonderful fun to play this um, this dark character. I never think of him as a villain. Of course he is, but. Uh, you don't. You, he's a man called Victor Sherevin, and he's a very powerful oligarch. He is very closely and highly connected at, uh, at, in, the, uh, in the upper reaches of the Russian government, and he is uh, something of a maverick. And he, uh, when invited to be part of uh, a retaliation um, uh, against the U.S. when uh, the Russians have been denied what they feel is their due at the United Nations, he then does something so awful but but he does so with a sense of sort of personal uh, investment in it he has a grudge against america he has a personal tragedy that fuels this as well uh, and he has a sort of ruthlessness about about how he will achieve his means so this means 
everyone's a, a, everyone's a potential victim, so he's, he's one of those contained fellows mostly, but one of those ones you wouldn't want to cross. It, it makes him a, a very, um, a very um, interesting uh, character to play. Kevin Costner has been a, a commanding movie star presence across a period of, of the lives of my generation. Um, uh, you know, across really a long period of time and a, and a vast number of very, very significant films, both very popular films that are memorable because they were, you know, fun and enjoyable and, and ubiquitous and, and ambitious films, including some of his own directing, uh, that were very, really, very, very significant. Um, so he was really part of the landscape of, of movies and then he very consciously stepped out of things for four or five years. He's, he spoke to me about that. Um, and uh, in coming back, he was recently terrific in the, in the television mini miniseries Hatfields and the Boys. Uh, but actually, his his uh, his uh, the sort of sense of how people greet him when he when he comes into a part like this, which in a way is tailor made, a senior figure, still sexy, still attractive, still you know very easy on the eye, and wearing his uh, his maturity with effortless grace. Um, he is so welcomed. He's understood to be a sort of. Um, institution in a way that that uh, that guarantees a number of things and quality and fun and that uh, uh, in certain kinds of roles he has a he has a he seems to stand for a certain kind of America itself you know he has he has that kind of iconic quality that, that one associates with legends of the past like uh, Gary Cooper or James um, uh, uh, Henry, Henry Fonda James Stewart um, who bring with them uh, the sort of cumulative um, force of the movies they've been in, as it were, that were the visual soundtrack of our lives. And so you get Kevin Costner as Harper, and then you get a whole range of other characters as well somehow, a whole range of views of America. There's something about his feet in the ground representing something that goes way beyond how much he says and what he does. Meantime, in the middle of all of that, you've just got a terrific actor. I enjoyed all the previous movies and we have the great pleasure of having the producer Mace Neufeld to produce them all, uh, be a producer here, so we have that, that sort of guiding taste as well. I think everybody was happy for it to be reimagined, to be, to be, to be reinvented uh, sort of from the inside out and also for it to be something about ar ar arriving at Jack Ryan, but it's uh, in a post 9-11 world that deals with the uh, covert agencies and, and the kinds of financial crises that, that can be global in a heartbeat that we all have um, experience of watching unfold. Um, the character could only be different, I mean, because circumstances were, were different. Essential characteristics remain the same in terms of his, his um, the level of his ambition, his devotion to those he loves, some pleasing eccentricities, but, but Chris Pine just brings a, a modernity in, in his own way that all those other actors did, and, and that you know, everyman quality that is um, uh, that makes him particularly appealing, but he definitely bring him into uh, the real world of, of now. Clearly there is a, a with us establishing this origin story, there's an opportunity to um, lay out directions uh, it can go. In this movie, um, you know, the relationship is very passionately uh, expressed between Kathy and Jack, but it's in no way resolved. Um, he, I think, there, there are good question marks at the end of where he goes, how he, how he functions, which part of the CIA he may or may not be part of, and how active and how operational he is. Um, I think just by virtue of the subject matter, it, it lays it out like that. Whether any of us are lucky enough to get involved with that remains to be seen, but um, I, I hope the audience enjoyed the possibility that this, this, this new Jack Ryan uh, has, a, has a, in the modern, the ever-changing and dangerous modern world we live in, has, a, has an interesting way to take us through some of those uh, places and issues.